Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Tavern Master. So of course we have seen this before, not that long ago really, but when we played it last it was in alpha so it wasn't really complete, but this right here, this is the full release version of the game with all sorts of new extra bits and bobs thrown in, so things like bards and brawls and disasters and no doubt lots of other exciting things that are part of everyday life when you run a tavern, but yes we had lots of fun with this last time. We had knights and vikings and merlin drinking in our tavern, it was all very very good. We didn't quite get the king and queen in, we didn't quite get royalty in the tavern, but we did very well. So I'm looking forward to jumping back in and seeing how we get on this time round. It is on Steam right now. It was launched today, I believe. There is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you're interested. And we were given a key by the developer, which is all very kind. So a big thank you to the developer. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's get on with it. There is a tavern to master. And here we go. So as you can see, we are going to be starting a lovely new tavern, which is all very very exciting indeed. Now we did have the option of picking up where we left off last time in the alpha version. The developer did let me know that the older saves are now compatible with this version of the game, so if we wanted to, we could have just loaded up the cake and cupboard and carried on with it. We could have picked things up where we left off like nothing had ever happened, like we'd never been away, but I felt like that would have been a little bit weird just sort of jumping back into a fairly well-established tavern, it wouldn't have felt right. It would have felt a little bit cheaty, I suppose. And this version of the game has all sorts of new bits and bobs in it that I think we need to experience with a lovely new tavern. So I think it's best if we start again with a new place. And here it is. So we do have a little bit of sort of tutorial stuff to get through, but it's fine. We can fly through that nice and quick. So welcome to your tavern. You'll be in charge of managing and growing your business. Okie doke, we'll give it a go. Take a look around. Okay, right, so basic camera controls. We can move about. We we can look at stuff, it's all very exciting. There's a castle. There's a castle in the game now. Oh, look at that, they've they've built a bit of world. Okay, that's exciting. So it's good to see the sort of river still there. That's nice, we can go and get our water from there. But now there's a bridge. There's a bridge over the river that leads to the castle. Oh, that's very exciting. And then there's a path going over there, lots of people wandering around. We're kind of in the woods by the look of it, or a forest or whatever. There's like toadstools dotted around the place. It looks very pretty. It does look very nice. Okay, and plenty of people going by, which is good for us. I mean, not right now, because it seems that we're lacking a door, but we'll get that sorted, I'm sure. Um, okay, right, so what is next game? The tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all. I mean, I wouldn't say that. It looks quite taverny. There's a bar and a barrel and a table. Yeah, it sort of looks a bit taverny. It's just not quite complete properly. One wall is missing. There are no doors and no windows. Yeah, that is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay, let's fix that. Okie doke. So, right, so we have to press the build button and then we go over to here. So let's build a bit of wall, shall we? So down here we go. What else is there? Is there anything new? I mean, look at that. It's kind of half height walls and things. Is there anything else? Okay, walls with kind of bits at the top. There's kind of a fence looking thing there. What's that? And then a little sort of low trellis type thing. Is that for making outside areas? Can we have people outside? Can we have a little garden with that around the edge? Oh, that would be wonderful. If we could have a beer garden, that would be amazing. And I've just realized there's going to be loads more textures. There's going to be lots more wall textures and floor textures. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on. What's the game telling us to do? Uh, we need a door. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Um, okay, right, a door, and the game wants us to put it there, but that sort of makes sense because that's where the path leads. And then a window. Okay, right, so pop the window onto there. Great job. Now let's buy some tables and benches. I feel like that would help. We only have one table. Yeah, there's only one table in our tavern right now. That won't be enough. So let's buy one more by clicking on the dining room button below. Okie doke. Right, so here we go. So simple table. We've got to start simple. It's fine. Yeah, we'll try and we'll try and make things a little bit fancier later on when we have some money. But right now, let's start simple. So take a simple table, put it where the game tells us, and then we need to get some seats. Hang on. Are the tables all the same? Ooh, big long tables. <gasps> we can have huge big long tables. Okay, that's very exciting. And we have the luxury table. <gasps> Has it got a colour picker thing on it? Oh my goodness me. We can have geek cupboard corporate coloured tablecloths. Right, okay, game of the year, it's sorted. Um, okay, right, let's go and get some seats. I'm getting distracted by all the shiny things. Um, simple bench, okay, this is absolutely fine for now. So pop that there. That's going to need some lights with it. I imagine the game will tell us. Okay, so those icons there, those things, mean that uh, that bit of the tavern is not lit up. It's not inside any light range. So yeah, let's buy a candle. Okie doke. Oh, what lights are there? Um, 
Okay, the lights are the same. The lights are the same. I suppose there's only so many types of light you can have in a tavern. So, okay, right. So we'll have a candle and we'll drop that onto that sort of uh, wooden sort of beam thing just there. That corner is now nice and lit up. Wonderful stuff. Great job. Now that we have enough seats for our guests, next step would be to buy beer to serve. Okay, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Some beer would be quite helpful. Now, there is a barrel. Is that water? I think we start with water. Okay, so go to the bar. And what do we have? There we go. So we have some water in a barrel and we're charging people two gold for a lovely glass of water, even though there is a river not too far away from here where they could get some water entirely for free if they wanted to. But Joe, you know it's fine. We've cooled it. It's got ice in it. It's got a slice of lemon in it or whatever. OK, so at the moment it's telling us to get a beer barrel. OK, so 200 of our monies to buy the beer barrel. It's relatively expensive, but okie doke. And then we have to fill it up. So we need to go into the barrel and we press refill. And there we go. We now have 150 litres of lovely beer. And for that, we're charging four gold a piece. Okie doke, right. That seems sort of fair enough. Now we have a place for people to sit on. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire the staff. Okay, right. So let's go and get our hands on some staff, shall we? So open the staff pop-up. And right, bartenders. So who can we have here? Every day you'll get new candidates for hiring. Pick one of these four by clicking the hire button. I guess we've got Johnny, Reeves, Rob and Fergus. OK, all good names. Right now, this is a bit different to the alpha version because they seem to have a lot more stats going on. So they can carry a certain amount of drinks. Um, oh, my goodness me. Rob can carry six drinks at once. Rob has gigantic hands. Oh, well done, Rob. That's very good. Um, and of course, they're their traits as well. Now, yeah, I'm tempted to just discount Johnny and Reeves because their trait becomes useless when they get to the maximum level. So they will get to the maximum level quickly because they gain experience two times faster. But then they're not going to be able to do anything with that skill once they're at level 10 or it was level 10 in the sort of alpha version. So, I mean, that does become then completely null and void when they max out their levels. However, these two your mood decreases slower and you attract more customers. These two here, those traits will you know, keep going no matter what level they are. I'm tempted by Rob. OK, let's look at this. So Rob versus Fergus. Here we go. The sort of, you know, the recruitment showdown. Uh, Rob can carry six drinks. Fergus can only carry two drinks. I mean, I'm sorry, Fergus. It's not looking very good for you right now. Um, speed, we're not carrying 2.5 meters per second for Rob here. And Fergus has got three meters per second. That seems quite quick. Three meters a second. Is that what that means? That seems fairly speedy. And when he's carrying something, Rob can go 1.8 and Fergus can go 1.9. Okay, so not too much difference. And Rob can pour drinks in 0.92 seconds and Fergus takes 0.83 seconds. Okay, so he is a tiny, tiny bit quicker. He's a little bit quicker at pouring, but he can only carry two drinks at a time. Whereas Rob can carry six drinks around at a time and put them onto the bar. And he's relatively quick at pouring. Do you know what, Rob? I think it's you. Everyone's got the same sort of higher cost, same salary cost. So it's fine. Yeah, Rob, absolutely. In you come, Rob. Lovely jacket, nice shade of green. Very good. OK, right. So let's get Rob. So there he is. Happy face, wonderful stuff. And uh, yes, we need a waitress. So here we go. Same deal with the waitresses. So we've got Lauren, Brenna, Rosalind and Judy. OK, so again, experience two times faster. So we might want to discount Rosalind straight away because she's got that trait that's not overly useful. Um, I'm looking at Judy because Lauren can carry three drinks. Brenna can carry three. Judy can carry five. That seems like a handy thing for a sort of, you know, a waitress to be able to do to carry more drinks. Speed 3.5. So she's equal with Lauren and a bit quicker than Brenna. Uh, that's when not carrying speed. When carrying 2.5, oh, but Brenna is way quicker. She is one meter per second quicker than Judy when they're carrying stuff. Um, however, Brenna can't go upstairs, it seems. She's got no stair climbing sort of speed, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Um, and she gets one tip. Ah, Judy gets no tips. I imagine when we level Judy up, she is going to actually you know, be able to sort of put a point into this skill or whatever. But right now... She's going to earn us no extra money via tips. Oh, I see. There's a bit of a trade-off. I think, I think it's going to be Judy. Let's get Judy in because she can carry five drinks. She's quite quick and we can get her earning tips at some point when she levels up. So Judy, absolutely. You're in, Judy. You are hired as well. 
and we could hire another person. But right now, the game is telling us to go and do that. We've prepared everything we need for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the game, let's see how you can unlock new stuff for the tavern. Okay, so let's go and look at research. And here we go. Upgrades our research by serving different types of guests. And you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For a kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. Okay, we can have a go at that, I think. Our only option right now is to research the kitchen. So click on the research button to start. After kitchen is finished, three more upgrades will be available for research. And I cannot help but notice that down here, there is musicians research. They've put musicians in. We've got bards coming in. Okay, okay, well, hang on. So begin kitchen research. Musicians, tell me what musicians do. Um, oh no, it's not telling us. We can't sort of tooltip it because we're in tutorial land. Okay, number of guests per day, that's up there. Tells you how many people will come to your tavern on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Okie doke, we've got that. We know about that. We are all set and our tavern can be opened. Click the play button to resume the game and wait for the customers to come in. Okay, and do you know what? Spacebar is pause, everybody. Oh, hang on. Not right now, it's not. I think we have to do that for the tutorial. My final tip to you is that if you... Uh, you watch out if there is enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Okay, yes, we'll do that. Because of course, if people can't sit down, we can't serve lots of people drinks, and then we don't make lots of money. So, okay, right now, few people are coming in. And just to prove it, Spacebar is pause. It just didn't like Spacebar in the sort of tutorial kind of thing. But there we go, Spacebar is very much pause. Well done, game. So here we go. Already one drink being served. It looks like a very, very exciting water drink. Okay, but it's better than nothing. It's earned us some money. Oh, there we go. Got some more money coming in. And right, we're full. We're full already. So we have got 244 money. How much is a table? Just a regular table is 70. Okay, right. I suspect we might need to invest in some more seats. So let's just go like that. And then hope we've got enough money for wages. There we go. That's another four people that can come in and sit down. Come on, everybody. Ooh. You've got a big, angry face. You left because the target bench got deleted or the path to it became impossible. Really? Oh, okay. I apologize for the, the bench that got deleted that is seemingly still there. But okie doke, never mind. It's all fine. And there we go. Look at it. It's filling up very nicely indeed. Okay, let's speed time on a little bit. Let's get time moving nice and quick. So Prestige 470. How many people have we have we served yet? Have we got near to 25? Oh, look, and now they've got the names on for the um for the different sort of people classes. Common, rare, gold, and royal. Very nice. Okay, so it looks like we can't actually see what this research gives us until this one is done, by the look of it. Because, I mean, yeah, lemonade is fairly obvious. Lemonade gives us lemonade. That gives us a guest increase. That gives us musicians. I'm really tempted to go for musicians because that just looks wonderful. We can have people just, you know, playing instruments and dancing and going, hey, nonny, nonny, and entertaining everybody. That sounds very good. Okay, let's take a quick look. While time is ticking by, um, special events. Okay, yep, we need to get that unlocked because that brings in great big crowds, as we saw when we played the alpha. Uh, wine adventures. Ooh, oh, that's exciting. Do we get teams of adventurers in? Okay, and then the fireplace grill, get some ale. Okay, that means we can amend the drink price. Then we can start getting different drinks. Then we can get another bar, new floor. Then we get researchers. And that's where we sort of get into fancy new sort of fancy new ways of unlocking things. So that requires people and research points. And then, yes, hotel furniture, unlimited bars, new floors, new floors, unlimited kitchens. All the guests can have a kitchen each. How very exciting. Oh, hang on. I kind of feel like we should have paid attention to things there. Um, OK, I mean, the day's gone by. The first day has gone. And we lost 784 monies, but we did spend a load of money setting everything up. So I think, yeah, purchases, 790. So drinks sold 52 for 156 money. Refills cost us 150. But again, that was right at the start. Um, average occupancy, 100%. Okay, and we got 24 customers served, one short to complete our research. Never mind, what's that down there? What does that button do? quests. Oh, this is very exciting. We can get things. <gasps> we unlock different different things. We can unlock a new type of floor tile. We can unlock a picture. We can unlock a new recipe. Another recipe. Another type of recipe. An elite waitress. Oh, this is very exciting stuff. An elite chef. A fancy recipe there. That's like a sort of 
sort of hock of sort of meat, like a ham hock type thing. Okay, this is all very good. An elite bartender, a new recipe. I don't know what that is, fondue or something? Is that like cheese fondue? And then another elite chef, a new recipe. I don't quite know what that is. A lovely plate of molten rocks. I don't really know, but whatever the case, lots of exciting things. Okay, so we to own four tables. We will get there soon enough. Own eight benches. Yep, okay, we'll get there with the table. Finish research. Yeah, we can do that. Change the tavern name by clicking the sign outside the tavern. What? What, what, what? There it is. Okay, hang on. We can change the name of the tavern. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on, hang on. Let's give this tavern a proper name. There we go. The King and Kettle. Because of course we have to have something tea related because we are serving tea as well as everything else. I mean, you can't really see us serving the tea because it, you know, it's in very, very small cups, but we are serving tea to people as well as the water and the ale and everything else we're going to get in the future. We are serving tea as well. Obviously we are. So of course we have to have Kettle in there and then you know, King goes quite nicely. The King and Kettle does sound quite nice. So there we go. That'll do the job very nicely. The king and kettle. Now, what does that do for this just here? So, okay, we can now press this and we get two of those. And that moves that along. And then when we get to certain points, we can spend our sort of whatever is quest, quest arrows, quest bullseyes. I don't know, quest things on certain bits and bobs down here. Oh, that is very good. Oh, I do like that. Okay, right. And then do we get a new quest? Or do we have to complete all these to get the next round of quests? I do not know. Um, okay, I mean, right now, actually, hang on, quick check on this. How are we looking for this? Do you know what? Refill everything for 26 monies. Keep on top of that. And let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next day. 7 a.m. we start. Are people coming in at 7 a.m.? I suppose they might come in for some lovely, cool, you know, refreshing water and a cup of tea to start the day as well. Because, you know, that's what they would do. But I mean, time is, time is very much ticking by. Yeah, is that quest refreshed? Yes. So now it's going to serve 20 customers. I imagine that refreshes at the end of every day. Oh, that is very good. That is very exciting. Okay, right. Hang on then. So let's put time on to, let's put time on to normal speed. So um, right, there's going to be some exciting things to look at here. So let's go to wall textures. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, right. I thought there might be more. I thought there might be more wall textures, but there are not. I mean, does it cost money? Does it cost money? Um... No. Okay, hang on. Let's have the lovely wall texture that we had before, because I like this wall texture. It feels, it, I mean, the, the, that just feels a bit cold. It feels a bit cold and it sort of feels unfinished, whereas that just feels a little bit, just feels a little bit nicer, doesn't it? A little bit warmer, a little bit friendlier for people. So there we go. And then floors. Um, yeah, I think for now we'll keep that. I do want to go for a, a sort of a floor like that. No, do you know what? I quite like that for now. That looks okay. That seems to go quite nicely. Okay, right. I was expecting more things. I thought we'd have more things there. Okay, how about more things in here? So we've seen that there's different types of table, plus a table that you can change the colour of, which is very exciting. Um, seats, okay, so there's stools. There's different types of chairs. Again, you can change the colour of the fancy ones. That's very good. Okay, decorations. Come on. There's got to be stuff here. A barrel with scrolls sticking out of it. Very good. A barrel with weapons sticking out of it. Also very exciting. Uh, bookshelves, fireplaces, uh, banners. Again, colour customizable. That is very good. And keep scrolling. Shields. What else is there? There's a coat rack. There's a coat rack on the wall. Coat rack that goes on the floor. Uh, bookshelves. Mugs on a wall. Okay. Okay. Right. That sounds good. You know what? Can we put them behind the bar right now? Can we just invest? It's only 75. 75 monies. It's hardly anything. And we can have some mugs on a wall behind the bar. Because that seems to make sense. Um, so what do we get right now? 37.5 guests per day. If we just pop that onto there. That's 39.2 guests per day. That's made our place significantly better. Okay, I like that. And then loads of different paintings. And a telescope and some horns and what have you. Okay, lights. Yep. Just the standard set. Um, special. Oh, look at the air yeah, musician podium. Adventurous table. We can have adventurers in here. This is all very good. Um, and then carpets. Oh. Oh, we can have fancy sort of rugs and carpets and things. Oh, look at that. Long carpets, small carpets, round carpets. And then a slightly grim looking animal skin, which I don't think we'll put down because that doesn't look very nice. But okay. Okay. No, that's good. There's so many exciting things. 
can we just get loads of money, please? <laughs> I want to buy all the exciting things. I want them all right now. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here is 800 gold bonus so you have enough money to build it. Okay, this sounds very good. Thank you for the great big pile of money, mysterious benefactor. Uh, okay, go to the kitchen shop, buy a kitchen counter, a plate shelf and a crate, hire a chef and then wait for people to order some food. Okay, we can absolutely do that. Now, hang on. How far can we expand in that direction? How far do we have over there? Yeah, okay, so we can expand over in that direction and stick the kitchen behind the bar for now, I think. That would make sense. Now, I know when we played this before, a few people did say, you want to put all your bars and stuff in the middle. You want to put your bar in the middle and your kitchen in the middle. So then it's you know nearer to most things. If you put your kitchen in the corner, so if your kitchen's over here and somebody over in the other corner of the tavern orders some food, the sort of uh, serving people have got quite a long way to go. Whereas if you put your kitchen in the middle, everyone's you know, equally as near to the kitchen wherever they're sat around the tavern, if that makes sense. Um, I think for now, however, the tavern is so small, it doesn't make a difference. But yeah, in the future, we might well do that. Is there an obvious kind of middle? I mean, here would make sense. If we put the thing just sort of there, if we had the kitchen maybe there and just built around the kitchen, that might be quite good. But for now, we'll put it over here for now. We'll just see how we get on because yeah, it does require quite a lot of stuff as well, doesn't it? Quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of room. Um, okay, so let's get just some walls in. So some walls going in. Hopefully we have enough money. And um, yeah, let's get a door. I'm intrigued by this kind of arrangement. I mean, what, how does that, how does that work exactly? I want an opening. We had arches before, didn't we? We had arches before. Why can't we have that? Unless that is what that is. It's just a fancy arch. Now, hang on. We might have just wasted a bit of money, but get rid of that. Oh no, we got 35 back. It's not quite as bad. So if we just draw that in, I quite like that. I like that. I think that looks good. Apart from, can we have the nice wall texture on it across the top? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, do you know what? The kitchen can have something else, actually. The kitchen can have this. That can feel a bit more like a sort of a workroom type thing. There we go. Make the kitchen a bit different, but the outside can be the same. Thank you. Like that. Very good. Okay. How have we got enough money to put a window into the kitchen? I kind of feel like they should have a window on that side, just to let some light in or whatever. And then floor texture, they can have that. They can have that, because that's kind of like classic kitchen flooring, isn't it? Okay, so we've got that. And then we need to get the kitchen items in. So kitchen, so plate shelf, counter, and crate. So that's going to be a 100, 200, 350 monies already. Okay, fine, fine. We can do that. Right, so let's pop the... Hang on, who's standing where? Chefs on that side, serving people that side. Yeah, okay, so pop that there. I mean, this is all very, very similar to what we had last time, but it's fine. Right, and then the um, treasure chest thing can go sort of there. So that's the magic chest of ingredients, isn't it? That's got everything in it. And then the plate shelf, that can just sort of tuck around into here. Does it matter which way around the plate shelf goes? I don't know. We'll put it there for now. And that will do. So there we go. We've got one of those. Do we need two crates? There's one out of two. Kind of feel like we should have the other crate. Um, okay, let's just put it next to that one. There we go. Right, so we've got the two crates in and everything else is locked. Okay, doke. Right, so now we need to hire a chef. We need to pick our search as well. Okay. Okay, what do we do with this? I mean, that would be quite good. Seven guests a day would be no bad thing. It's relatively easy to get to. I imagine we complete that in one day. But it's not musicians, is it? It's not bards and singing people and people with lutes and things like that. Um, but I mean, that would be easy to just get done. That brings in more people. Then get lemonade. That's a different type of drink. Then maybe go for musicians. Yeah, let uh, we're going for we're going for an increase in guests first. Seven guests per day. That's got to be a good thing. Um, well, hang on, have we completed one of these? Finish research. Yes, we have. Couple of arrow things. Uh, this is very good. And then if we go to here. We can hire ourselves a chef. Okay, so who do we have? Sterling, which is a great name, Forrest, Reeves, and Johnny. Okay, so prepare two soups at the same time. Uh, ah, Johnny here can receive a two money bonus for every main course served. You receive a two coin bonus for every soup served, and your walking speed doesn't decrease when you are carrying something. But you don't... I mean, the chefs aren't really going to be walking around too much. They don't have too far to meander about the place. They just stick mainly in the kitchen. Okay, how about, how about, I'm thinking, hang on, speed 2.5, right, skill for desserts plus three, 
skill for main courses, plus seven, skill for soup, nothing. But we don't have soup yet, do we? We've got main courses and we've got desserts. So Johnny here, I think seems the best person, although he is the slowest, which is a bit unfortunate, but he does earn more money. And it's not that busy right now. Johnny, you're in. In you come, Johnny. Right, here we go. Now, does Johnny magically appear? Or does he have to walk in? There he is. You can tell he's a chef because he has an amazing chef's hat on. Um, okay, right, there we go. So now, menu. Oh my word, the menu is now huge. Okay, right, there is much in the way of menu. But we start with the classics. We start with the old classics. Cherry cake, bread, apple pie, cream rolls, and a fruit bowl. Okay, this is very good. And of course, when they make these, each time one of these meals is produced, that number goes up, and then when it reaches that total, they get a star, and they become better at making this sort of particular thing, which means we can then charge more money for it, which is very good. Now, I think we have to click on that as well now, don't we? So here we go. Yeah, oh no. We've got to buy ingredients. However, those boxes have come quite well stocked. So hopefully, hopefully that'll last us for a while. Okay, right, let's move time on. Um, okay, right, there's a menu now, folks. If you'd like to eat some food, that would be good, because we have a chef that we're paying for. So it'd be good if you could, you know, order a nice, I know, a nice bowl of fruit, maybe. Lovely and healthy to go with your water and your tea, possibly. Um, or some bread, just some lovely bread to have with your beer. I don't know. Nobody ordering anything right now. Maybe, maybe we have to wait until tomorrow for the whole sort of food thing to kick in. Or do we have to say whether it's on the menu or not? Um, no, they are on the menu. Maybe it doesn't kick in until tomorrow. Maybe it's not quite a thing that's registered until tomorrow. I do not know. I do think we need we need another table. And also I think we need another we need another waitress. There's quite a lot of empties piling up. And we can have another waitress, can't we? Okay, so who do we have now? Um we've got Liv, Madeline, Nancy, and Lauren. Okay, so uh mood is not affected by cleaning, mood decreases, get one tip for every drink, attract seven more customers. Okay, Liv, I'm immediately looking at you because you get one tip for every drink served. And we could just tell you to go and serve drinks. You can carry five at a time, which is about the maximum by the look of it. Yeah, that is the maximum right now. Uh, you seem to be relatively quick. You get tips. Okay, do you know what, Liv? You're in. Come on in, Liv. Um, and then, yeah, can we tell them... Where was the thing where we told them what to do and what not to do? There's a thing where we could click them. There we go, there we go. Um, so, Liv, you don't... Hang on, what's that? Low priority. Yeah, low priority for food. So, let the other person deal with food... You deal with drinks and possibly medium for cleaning, although that's not really a problem right now. But unless it means tidying the tables, it's fine. Right, here we go. So we've got somebody else coming in. Still no food. Ah, there we go. There we go. First food order. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? It's a, a like a cake thing. And immediately that is out on the table. That is wonderful. Okay, what's that again? Remind me. What was that? A cherry cake. Of course it was. Of course it was. And here we go. And he just gets another cherry cake out of this box. <laughs> Where does he prepare the food? Does he prepare it all in this in this sort of in this treasure chest type thing? I mean, the bowl of fruit. Yeah, I can absolutely see him sorting that out from a box because you get a bowl from there and take the fruit from there, put the fruit in the bowl, sorted. But making a cake and making a pie, I mean, they are slightly trickier things. Oh, hang on, research. We've got the extra guest done already. Um. Okay, right, we'll go for lemonade. Go for lemonade. We might have missed out on a few people there. That's a bit of a shame. But look at that. The money is coming in wonderfully already. So five bits of food for 101 monies. Now, how much are we paying people? 20 in salaries. That's absolutely fine. That is nothing at all. Okay, hang on. Have you leveled up? Rob, have you leveled up? Yes, you have. Okay, this is very good. Um, okay, let's press the big button and see what happens. Oh, look, we get points now. We can invest points into our people. Instead of just going, yep, they've leveled up to level two, we now get to choose what they become good at and what they're not good at. Um, okay, I think, Rob, you can become better at pouring drinks because you are a barman and that's kind of your job. So currently it takes you 0.92 seconds to pour a drink. I think that sounds pretty quick to me. I think that sounds very quick. We're clearly not of Guinness here, do we? But okay, let's up that. 0.83. That is quite the increase. 
Okay, right, very happy with that. And he is very jolly. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, Judy. Judy has leveled up as well. So we'll level you up. And what do you want to make you got? Yeah, tips. Let's give you a point in that to generate a tiny, tiny bit more money. That would be helpful. I mean, you two not quite there, but not far off. Um, okay, I think what we'll do is we've got quite a bit of money. Let's get in. Let's get in another simple table and some fairly basic seats for now. We can always replace these at some point in the future. And then how about a bit of decoration? I want something that we can customise <laughs> because, because I do, because I'm like that. Um, how about a lovely banner? Um, okay, so we click that. So click the banner. How do we change the colour of the banner? It's possible to change colours for this item. But how? How how do we do that game? I want to know how this is a thing. Unless we place it and then click it afterwards? Possibly. Uh, we right click it, it doesn't do anything. I really want to change the colour of this thing. Um, I mean, yeah, if we put that there, that looks that looks okay. How about we hang it behind? Hang it there, look. That's quite nice. Put that there. Okay, so that's gone in as red, which is okay. Can we change the colour of it? Ah, yes. Um, oh, we can't have geek covered corporate yellow. They've not got yellow. We'll have to have a blue. We'll go for a blue. We'll have to have blue and sort of that colour. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. Okay, right. Geek cover corporate blue things. It's got a bit of yellow on the bottom, I suppose. Okay. Right, there we go. So, guess 49 per day. How many can we seat? Um, that's, what's that? Four, eight. So, we can seat 16. So, I think. Let's do this early on. Uh, let's not do that early on, because I'm, I'm trying to move things around. Let's not do that. Um, let us refill everything. Oh, we can't change the prices, can we? We've not unlocked that yet. Uh, however, we have completed oh oh this is very good boom boom and boom we're on 12 things we can claim our first quest reward of 100 lovely monies click that thank you very much indeed oh this is wonderful okay right do you know what go to the next day go to the next day let's get things moving look everybody there's an extra table an extra lovely table already oh look at that that person their first order of the day is food this is very good. And what's the order of the day to start with? It's some cream rolls to start the day. Why not, eh? Why not? To go with your tea. And look, they're actually decreasing on the plate. They ate some. And now the bowl, so bowl, not plate, the bowl is now empty. Okay, good stuff. Right, and that is ticking up quite nicely indeed. Uh, anything going on in here? So what have we got? Six tables. Level up an employee. Serve more than 30 customers in a day. Refill 100 litres of any drink. Okay, so that's more long term. Own six tables will get there eventually. Level up any employee. That'll get there relatively soon, I would have thought. In fact, we might be there already. Yeah, there you go. Johnny the chef. Already leveled up. So, okie doke. Level you up. And let's get you moving a tiny bit quicker. 2.8 meters per second. There we go. And that'll do for your movement. Everything else we'll put into um, into other things, into, you know, getting money for desserts and such. And I think, have you just leveled up as well, Liv? Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right. Well done, Liv. Uh, Liv is carrying five drinks. That's all she can do anyway. So that's the maximum. How about speed when she's carrying drinks? Let's up that, shall we? 2.8 meters a second. Well done, Liv. You've become a little bit more sort of poised while you're carrying things. This is going very well. Um, will we complete one of those? Yeah, we've leveled up an employee, so we will take that. Uh, okay, right, let's just... Oh, no, we're not doing any research again. Okay, right, we've got lemonade. Is it worth putting lemonade on the bar? And then we can research musicians. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. Okay, firstly, lemonade barrel. Purchase that. 506 money left. Fill that up. And wonderful. Do you know what? Refill everything. Let's top everything up. So now we've got water, beer and lemonade on the bar that is very nice okay right yeah we've got a new drink everybody is anybody interested in some lemonade come on who's gonna be the first who is gonna be the first to try some lemonade nobody's got any yet i don't think there there's some lemonade come on who's gonna have that who's gonna have the first lot of lemonade and it's gone to i can't see where it's gone you it's gone to this person here it's gone to an executioner <laughs> do you know what i wouldn't have put the executioner down as the person that would have lemonade. I would have thought they would have been on something slightly sterner.
to, you know, deal with the nerves and, you know, the, you know, the, the whatever, the guilt maybe that comes with having to, you know, lock people's heads off all the time. But okay, no, that's fine. You enjoy your lemonade. I'm sure it's lovely. And I think, look at that, the money is pouring in. How are we doing for food stuff? Yeah, we might need to, oh, we might need to buy a bit more food. Yeah, the money is coming in, but we have got to invest it back into food stuff. Um, yeah, wheat is coming down quite a lot. Let's buy 42 wheat. We'll stock up on wheat and we'll buy uh, 36 apples for 72 money as well. Um, I mean, I don't think this goes off. I don't think it goes off. Do you know what? Let's stock up on those things. Wheat, fruit, vegetables, meat. We'll just stock up on those. And then do we do the same with the other one? Uh, okay, right. Yep, yeah, nice. Made a bit of money. Spent a bit on refills, but I think that's quite long term. They're now full. Um, can we afford... Hang on. How much do we pay in wage? What do we need? 48 Oh no, what's 170? Mine is 50, let's just do that. So 120-ish we need. So how much is it going to be to restock that? 60, 100. Yeah, we can't restock everything in the other crate, but that's fine. Uh, did we complete any more of those? Yeah, we'll take that and we will take that, which means we've unlocked a new floor tile. Okay, we'll gladly accept it. Thank you very much. And on to the next, please. Oh my goodness me. We're going to unlock musicians at some point today. That's going to be good. The only thing is, I imagine they're going to need like quite a big place to, to perform. They're going to need a stage of some description. I don't quite know where we're going to put that. I think maybe if we expand everything out this way a bit, maybe then we start thinking about putting the kitchen in the middle to make it nice and central. And then we have the sort of performing bit over here, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what the best thing is going to be. I mean, we haven't actually unlocked them yet. Maybe we need to actually get them unlocked first. How is this looking over here? Yeah, refill all of that. It's fine. Refill all the stuff. But yeah, that is that is going up quite quick. Look at that. Got 20 money coming in. Got a lot of money coming in for everything else. Some tips money coming in. Yeah, this is going very well. We've got that research done in no time at all. Um, and then, yeah, then it's on to the next. So, I mean, how many do we need? What are we on? Five more people. I think we'll get there. Ah, then it's events. Then it's events, which are very, very important. You know what? Musicians are going to be doing... Come on, come on, somebody. There we go. Right, start that immediately. There you go. Already we've you know, got a few extra sort of uh, extra people on that that we would have missed had we dithered around. So there we go. That is ticking up very nicely as well. Right, musicians. Hang on, have we completed any of those? No, but if we go to... Hang on, put time on to normal speed. If we go here and have a look, it was under special, was it? So if we go there, yes. A musician's podium. And we can, we can have four of these. And they're four by four. They're quite big. <laughs> and we can have four of them. Do we need them all together? So I assume that's one musician. So we have one person on there doing a bit of, you know, lute playing or whatever. I don't know. Playing their ocarina. Uh, okay. Right. I would like to get one of those in. <laughs> I would like one of those. But it involves moving stuff about. Uh, do you know what? We'll do that later. Let's let the day finish. We'll see what sort of stuff we've got left for, for uh, in regard to food and such. But it's looking pretty good. Let's just, I don't know, stock up on those for no real reason. Um, do we even need vegetables and meat? Did I just buy a load of unnecessary stuff? I don't think we have any vegetable meat dishes, do we? I don't think we do. Oh, hang on, hang on. Something's going on in here. Um, Rob. Rob has leveled up again. My goodness me, Rob. Um, yeah, drink pouring. Just make that incredibly, incredibly quick. 0 0.75 seconds to pour one drink. <laughs> it defies time itself. Well done, Rob. Uh, okay, right, more food coming in. Getting a bit late in the day, so hopefully people will clear out soon. It would be nice if we had some more people in here, wouldn't it? More people. Oh, hang on. Hang on. This is interesting. So I kind of assumed initially that this was in like a sort of, you know, just a regular medieval world. But now I am pretty sure we're in some sort of fantasy type world. Because of course we have Merlin. We have Merlin the wizard. But we don't really see him doing spells as such. He could just be, you know, a wise man, a wise advisor to the king. But this person here, she's got pointy ears. I would say she is an elf of some description or something like that. Okay, maybe, yes, we are in like a sort of a fantasy world then. Okay, and yeah, if there's adventurers coming in, that would sort of imply that as well. And look at that. That is just pure, lovely, lovely profit. Very good. Okay, did we complete any goals? Yes, we did. 
Serve serve only desserts for the whole day. Oh, okay. <laughs> we claimed that, despite me not trying to get this, but okie doke. Um, we nearly got to that. We nearly got to 64 guests per day. Uh, right, what we're going to do is, we're just going to start moving things around a bit. So if we can just... Uh, ooh. Oh, no, not... not No, what's happened there? No. <laughs> I want to pick that up. Uh... Yeah, I want to pick... Hang on. Can we just... Oh, there we go. Right, I want to pick it up and move it. I just want to move everything over a bit right now. So move those things over. Here we go. And that should be enough room over there, I think, to get the um, the performing people in. Get the sort of the... Whatever it is. The musician stage thing in. So now if we go to special, musician podium. Uh, yeah, we'll put it there. And now I just want to see what it does. I'm intrigued. Let's fill let's fill all that up. 37 money. That's all fine. I mean, do we click on this and do we need to do something? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Right. So one person band plays eight songs. That increases your uh, guest per day by seven. Guests wait 10 seconds more on this floor. Uh, is that good? Do we want that? And then you can have 50 money per day for a one person band. Two person band, three person band. Obviously, it's better than a full band. Costs quite a bit of money, but it gets more people in and they sort of lurk around more on that floor, which means they're more likely to go and get some beer or whatever. Let's just start with, and let's go for two people. One person might seem a bit lonely. Let's go for two people for 100 of our monies per day. Yes, please. Your selection will be applied tomorrow. This is going to be very exciting. And Liv has leveled up. Okay, Liv, well done. Um, let's make you a bit quick when you're not carrying things. So 3.8, well done. And is that it? That might be it. Although Judy and Johnny have nearly leveled up. Judy, you're sort of slacking a bit there. Liv has come in and overtaken you in the level stakes. Okay, that's fine. Right, start the next day. I just want to see the musicians. There they are. There they are. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Normal time. Oh, that is very good. Look at it. He's he's playing a thing. I don't know. What that is. is that a lyre? I don't know what that is. A thing. And she's got like a flute. Oh, this is wonderful. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. There you go. Playing some good tunes. Oh, this is wonderful. And look at that. People are in. There's now music in the tavern. There's music in here. There's, I don't know, lots of exciting things happening. Now, you've got food. You've got music. You've got a choice of drinks. I mean, you've not got the comfiest seats to sit on, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully the music can take your mind off of the horrible kind of, you know, bottom numbing, uncomfortable seats. But okay, right. Move time on. Nice and quick. Let's get that research done. Um, oh, okay. That's complete. Right. We'll take that. Thank you very much. If we get another three, that gives us 150 coins. That's good. Um, we could do it by just getting some more tables or putting some carpets down. That would be no bad thing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we could just put some carpets down. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. How much carpets? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a little nose. I don't want a small carpet. If we're going to do it properly, yeah, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. So let's have a long carpet. Can we have that in front of the bar? That would be quite nice. So people can stand on the long carpet as they're at the bar. Yes. Okay, that's good. And then how about... I quite like that. I mean, it's, it's like a nice sort of hot pink colour. Everyone loves a hot pink. Let's put that over there on the way into the uh, on the way into the kitchen. Do you know what I've just realised? <laughs> I did this before, I think. There's there's no lights in here. Sorry, sorry, cookery team. Um, I do quite like the lamps. I mean, they're a little bit... In a way, they're kind of safer than a candle because that's a naked flame. So, you know, if you sort of walk past that and, you know, you raise your arm and you put your clothing onto that naked flame, you might set yourself on fire. Um, so yeah, they're a bit safer in that regard, are these lamps, but yeah, these are more painful if you whack your head on them, because they're a massive big metal thing, but I think you might need some light in here. So there you go. Don't say I don't do anything for you. There you go, you can see what you're doing now. <laughs> I heard that might be a useful thing. Yeah, that's not lit either. That's not lit either. We're going to spend our money on lighting. There we go. And that affects our guests per day anyway, which is good. And look at that. Hang on. Now we can claim that thing. Then we can get 150 money back. So that's, you know, not exactly free carpets, but, you know, it sort of paid some money toward them. And Judy has leveled up. So Judy, you can move a bit quicker when you're carrying some drinks. And Johnny the chef has leveled up. Um, let's get you, I don't know, skill for main courses. Let's get you paying, uh, having people pay a bit more for your excellent main course food. 
because we're going to serve a lot of that, I imagine. And there we go. How are the other levels? No, they're looking fine. Nobody's going to level up any time soon. And we've unlocked the events. Here's how they work. Yep, you click an event, you pick a day, you pick what the event is, and then you sort of wait for it to happen. Okie doke, we're fine with that. Okay, next research. I think, I think it probably should be wine. Let's get that in. Although Adventures is very, very exciting. But I think get the basics in first. Get the basics in, earn the money, then get the fancy things. So get wine, get the fireplace grill, then get adventurers in. Oh my goodness, we're going to have all sorts of noble, exciting heroes coming in and sitting at the table and using our tavern as a starting place for exciting Dungeons and Dragons style kind of journeys. Okay, that's very good. Um, okay, let's get wine done first, please. There we go. So get some wine in. And I think what we'll do is let's get to the end of this day. We're going to get to the end of the day, go to the next day, and then I think we will finish things up. But I do love the fact that we have got some musicians. <laughs> That's very good. Can we do anything? What events can we have then? Are they more or less the same? Yeah, so a regular party, wine tasting, work anniversary, the, the good old classic executioner's meetup, <laughs> which is very good. Oh, hang on. They've got extra requirements. So wine tasting. Hang on, hang on. Pause time for a second game. Um, hang on. What's going on here? So a regular party... You just need 400 prestige. We've got that. Wine tasting requires 1,000 prestige and cheese. Do you know what? I'm with you on that. Wine and cheese is an excellent combo. Work anniversary requires 20 strawberries. The executioners, for whatever reason, require 40 mushrooms. I don't know why. Do they practice on the mushrooms? I don't know. They all line up a mushroom each in front of them. <laughs> and the one who chops it you know, right down the middle... The one who gets it as perfect a 50-50 split in the mushroom is the best executioner or something. I don't know. I don't know quite why they'd need that. Um, battle victory requires some meat with you and then some peas. Okay, meat and peas. Well, that's fine. Yay for winning a battle. Uh, pirates need meat and broccoli. Because <laughs> pirates are renowned for eating so much broccoli. Um, Vikings require some sort of wheat and... I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, Merlin requires fish and broccoli, but that's fine. They're, you know, they're good. They're, they're good food for your brain. They keep your brain ticking over. And Merlin's clever. Look, books. Books equals clever. Um, the prince requires 10 coconuts. Okay. And the king and queen have a need for sort of 30 big legs of meat kind of stuff. So fancy stuff. What's that there? What's that? I don't quite know what that is. A nut of some sort? Hang on. I now need to go and figure out what the Vikings need. Hang on a second. What's all that about? Uh, that is... Yeah, walnut. Okay. Are Vikings big on walnuts? I don't really know. Evidently they are. Um, okay, do you know what? Stock up on those whilst we're there. That'll do. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Let's get through to the end of the day. But yeah, we're not going to organise anything quite yet, I don't think. What we're looking at first? Um, getting some rare people in. Although we must be getting some rare people in. Because it, that's ticking up. That's ticking up very nicely indeed anyway. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's book them in. Let's book them in for... What day is it today? Uh, does that tell us today? Is that today? So we can plan an event tomorrow. Uh, okay, let's have a regular party then tomorrow. Because we can do that. In fact, no. We can't accommodate 20 guests. That would be bad. Let's not do that right now. That would be a terrible idea. And there we go. End of the day. Now, we didn't make that much money, but we did spend 500 monies on purchasing exciting bits and bobs. So it's okay. We made an all right amount of money in terms of income. And if we don't you know, go buying expensive things and refilling lots of stuff, then yeah, we'll be absolutely fine. So, okay, that's looking very good. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to the next day. That's all fine. Oh, hang on. Pause time for a second. Oh, hang on. Hang on. They've come back. Oh, oh, I see. That's just a constant thing. We're going to pay 100 per day forever. It's not just one. Oh, I thought it was just a one off thing. No, they're going to keep coming back. Uh, OK, that, that, that's fine. That's quite expensive. That part, that's part of the wage payment then, because now we have these musicians on our books, which is very nice. I mean, in the long run, I'd love to get the full band. There's a person there. It looks like she's wearing like a, a flowery kind of flowery hat type thing. I'd like to get them in. They're playing a little sort of violin type thing. That's very good. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll leave them on for now. I thought that was a kind of a one-off thing. Okie doke, right. Did we complete any of these? Uh, okay, we served only desserts for the whole day again, apparently. Go us. Um, and I think what we'll do is, hang on, how's the bar looking? Let's just get things in order. Get things in order. Okay, so refill all of that kind of stuff. 
Food is looking, okay, wheat is looking a bit low. So we'll stock up on wheat, stock up on fruit. That's all good. Wheat and fruit are stocked up there. Um, okay, we just we just stock those up there. There we go. So all of our food stores are full of what we can serve right now. All the beer is full. Everything is looking good. So I think what we'll do is we will finish things up for now and we'll come back next time. We shall come back to the king and kettle and see how we get on. But I think so far things have gone very, very well indeed. We've got our four tables in. We've got a little bit of decor going on. I mean, it's a little bit all over the place right now. Slightly sort of threadbare looking bit of carpet down here. Quite a nice sort of uh, round carpet down there. That looks okay. And then of course we have the basics in as well. We've got the bar and we've got the kitchen and we have some entertainment as well, which is wonderful. So yeah, things are looking pretty good. I think next time, yeah, we need to organize a meeting, kind of, you know, an event type thing uh, to get the wine in. Then we start, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Getting the adventurers in is going to be very good. And then, um, and then, yeah, then we just head, maybe head toward drink price because I think we could be making a lot more money. That's what we learned last time. You put the price of the drink up, it affects your amount of guests per day, but we can only have 80, well, we can have 80.9 guests per day, but we've only got enough seating for 16 guests. So if we could put our prices up, we can earn a bit more money from the guests that we can actually fit into the tavern. So I think that's maybe where we'll try and head. Maybe try and get to that, make more money. And then of course, the more money we're making, we can expand and do lots of other bits and bobs. But, uh, but yeah, it's lovely to be back. It's very, very exciting to be back. And I look forward to actually going through and finishing this this time. We kind of got so far last time and then the save file went a bit wonkaloids and it didn't rework really properly. So I'm looking forward to actually seeing what happens when we get toward the end of that research tree. Just looking forward to getting the king and queen in and getting your know, hotel rooms in and having kind of four of these stage things all set up with loads of music going on in the tavern and it's all going to be wonderful and very nice. But yes, we'll finish up for now, come back next time and just carry things on here at the king and kettle. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Tavern Master. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles <laughs> by shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.